So what's going on guys, DIY Dan, Saltwater Junkie here again, and today I'm going to be doing a water change on my multi main display system all running off one sump filtration behind the wall. So total system capacity is around 400, 420 gallons, and I usually do a 100 gallon water change once every six months or so, give or take a little bit. So let's get to it. So as far as my total system volume, guys, this is a 210 gallon. I got two 29s underneath it. My eel tank is a 75 gallon. My refugium is a 40 gallon. The first part of my sump is a 40 gallon and it handles about 30 gallons of water. And the second part of my sump is also a 40 gallon. And on average, it probably holds about 20 to 25 gallons. So I use four of these containers to do my water changes on this system. I also use a spare return pump. When I upgraded my return pumps on the tank to DC, I kept this one for this purpose. Then I use a buffer, usually in a powder form, and then prime to condition the water. I've used both a Coral Life and an Instant Ocean salt mix. Now being as though this is a swim tank, I do use regular tap water and then condition it. So I've got my four containers sitting out here. They're 27 gallon total volume. I mix my solutions for 25 gallons. So I run a couple return pumps to mix my salt solution. And I always do this for a couple hours at least. One, to make sure the temperature is about the same as the system and check the parameters as far as pH and salinity before doing the actual water change. So after all four containers are thoroughly mixed and I've checked my parameters, I use my garden hose adapter and run my water out to the backyard. I do get a little bit of a drip from my garden hose adapter, so I put a five gallon bucket at that location. So since I have two return pumps that run this system, I usually just shut down the one that runs the 210 and the 229s and I leave the one running my algae scrubber and 75 gallon running during this process. Normally you would shut down your protein skimmer as well during this process. However, my protein skimmer safety shutdown that I put together did that for me automatically. So since you have to mix up a salt solution, you want to be pretty accurate with how much water preparation you are doing and how much to actually pump out of the tank. So I take a tape measure and I measure the total depth of my tank, which was 28 inches. It's a 200 gallon tank, so at 14 inches, I should be at a roughly 100 gallons, 105 gallons of water needed. So then I take my return pump, put it in my container, pump the water out of that container until it is almost empty, transfer my pump over, dump the remaining water out of the first container into the second container, so forth and so on, to get rid of the 100 gallons of prepared water that I made. One other thing I do to make this process go a little easier is I put a power strip to run my return pump. Therefore, every time I have to transfer a container over, I just have to turn the power supply off at the power strip instead of trying to unplug and plug my pump in every time. Once draining the final container, I usually use a five gallon bucket to dump the remaining water into so I can easily pour it into my sump. The cloudiness in the water is from the fresh water change. It will fade. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and gave you some ideas to maybe make your water changes go a little easier. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.